Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome to wait. That's the same thing. Welcome to or welcome back to my vlog, my channel. As you can tell by the title and my fit. Where did I get it? I got it from Depop, by the way. I'm doing a video about USF, my experience at USF, which I've already kind of done a video on. We're gonna rehash it. I had a few people ask me on my Instagram specific questions that I could answer, so I'm gonna do it here on a video. Kind of an updated my USF experience since I have been there for a full year now. I think that last video, I had just finished my first semester there. Basic background information about me. Hello, I'm Kelly. I am a senior now at the University of South Florida. I go mainly to the Tampa campus. I am a marketing major. I think I'm going to have a concentration in digital marketing. My journey to USF has not been conventional, so I'm finally glad to be a senior and about to be graduating soon. Ah! I want to address something in my last video. If you watched my last video, or if you haven't, go watch that. I was a pre-marketing major, and someone in the comments let me know that it says pre-marketing or like pre-whatever major you're in because you need to complete the prerequisites still for that major. I'm pretty sure one of the prereqs I had to take at USF for my major was like basic marketing or something, and then I'm now getting into it. Let me state out the classes I have taken. I think that's like so interesting to know about, like if you're thinking of being in that major to know the types of classes, because I always look up like what kind of classes do you take if you're a blah 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 blah. I've done MAR 3023 basic marketing, MAN 3025 principles of management, ISM 3011 information systems and organizations, MUH 3016 survey of jazz which was for like an elective. That was for fall. The spring semester, so last semester, I took QMB 3200 business and economics statistics 2, MAN 4504 operations management a systems approach, GEV 3033 business workplace skill and best practices, MAR 3613 marketing research, and then this summer I just finished my one class which is MAR 3700 which is digital marketing which was really fun and then I'm still taking MAR 4503 buyer behavior. So those are the classes I've taken so far. Pretty decent, pretty fun, at least the marketing classes have been more interesting obviously because that is my major so it's like learning more about what you're getting yourself into. Let's cut to the chase and answer these questions. First question I got asked was, what major have you chosen and what made you decide it? As I said, I am a marketing major. Originally, in the past, before like I got into USF, I had thoughts of being a biology major or health science major because I wanted to do the pre-dental route. I don't know why I really thought that because I've always been business minded and I decided marketing because it could mix you know, my business mind and creativity into one, which I have been really enjoying, especially getting to know more about what marketing is and it's very psychological and it really looks into trying to persuade people into buying your products or being invested in your company type vibes. thought that was like a pretty good major to be in for that and also use those talents in like a wider aspects in business. I don't know. I thought maybe that there's more job openings for that, especially now with the digital age. I just wanted to be creative, okay? I wanted to be creative but not in a creative major. If that makes sense. If there was any university you could go to, which would you choose and why? So I was originally wanting to transfer into UF, University of Florida, after I got my AA. I went to Santa Fe, and I love Santa Fe. I liked it as a community college, but I don't think I was really vibing with the Gainesville area as much, and I really wanted to be home, and I like live in the Tampa area, Tampa-ish area. So I originally wanted to go to UF. No really thought behind that. I was like, I know it's a good school. That's really it. Like, I could pursue a good education there, but I just didn't really enjoy the area personally, and so I don't think I would choose anywhere else other than USF because it is closer to home and pretty good university so far as I can see. What are some of the business related clubs slash groups at USF? I'll be a transfer student this fall. There is a lot of business related clubs and groups at USF. If you look up, let me let me pull up a few. Okay, so first we have American Marketing Association at the USF chapter. I'm a part of this club kind of a little bit. I've gone to a lot of meetings for them and it's really fun to get involved. They have like a lot of other fun activities as well, so it's really good to get involved. USF Public Relations Student Society of America. There's an investment club at USF. 
There's the Association of Information Systems, if you're an information system major. There's the American Advertising Federation at USF, Student Finance Association at USF, Professional Business Fraternity, a co-ed one, by Chi Theta. I don't know if I'm saying that right. USF Women's and Business Society chapter. It's all about empowering women no matter what business major you're in. So like finance, accounting, marketing, things like that. Association of Latin Professionals for America at USF. Business Development Club at USF. There's a USF Accounting Society. And then also a lot of these clubs, you don't have to be in that major to join them. Co-ed Business Fraternity at USF, which is Delta Sigma Phi. There's Association of Future Professionals in, in Business Management. A lot of them I found on Instagram first, so I knew of them first before I transferred. When you're doing the transfer process, there's like an orientation thing you do. And if you are a business major, it'll show you the business organizations and clubs that you could be a part of. They'll be like listed out there's like links to them so that's a good place to check there's a lot of tabling sessions during like the first week of school where they'll just be outside of either the Marshall Center or in front of the Muma College of Business building talking about their club so that's a good place to check out what has been your favorite memory so far at USF I don't really have that many but I would say when it's nice weather and you could chill out by like the archways near the MLK Plaza and like the flower archways and fountain I'm not really an outdoorsy person, but sitting outside is kind of nice, and I did enjoy the tailgate. How difficult has university been compared to community college? I don't think it's been that difficult for me personally. Once I transferred, I was just so excited to have gotten in and ready to start finishing up with school, so I was just like not even thinking about how hard the coursework is and honestly it's not that hard for me be like the beginning of the class would be like the hardest just because you don't know what to expect you don't know like the layout of how like that specific professor does things like your first exam your first discussion board but then like once you get the lay of the land that first week it flows and you'd be surprised by how much you can accomplish and can do because some of these assignments I'm like I don't know how I'm gonna do that assignment I don't have any clue on how to even do it but once you like apply yourself and you look things up or you could ask your classmates or your professor it actually is pretty easy or at least pretty manageable. I would say it is a little bit more difficult in general as to be expected to go into like a higher level of education just because you are now working towards classes towards your major so there's, there's like higher stakes you have to do well and you have like a lot more difficult projects to do I would say but that's just like regular. Next have you made any friends at university and low-key I haven't I made some acquaintances I've talked to like some people at like marketing club I was a part of and friends of friends so like my cousin goes to USF and she knew someone that went to USF and so she has friends when she got to USF and I became somewhat acquainted with them but bestie friends not really but I also haven't put my Myself out there enough to do that like I've talked to some people in my class kind of here and there about like assignments but nothing really hanging out outside of class or talking outside of class that's kind of fine with me I have other things I'm focusing on I mean it would be nice that did happen to me but at this point I'm like I'm here I'm here to get this bag I'm here to get this degree was USF your first choice when deciding where you would want to attend not really out of high school we were applying for colleges and everything I literally had no idea where I wanted to go I was just like I'll go where the wind takes me I have no thoughts I didn't even know what I wanted to major in really I chose dentistry because it was a medical field which my family really wanted me to do but ultimately my mind is not built for STEM. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in general after high school so I didn't really have any thoughts of where I wanted to go. I just thought originally UF because it's a really good school. It's top four in the nation. Are they top four now? I don't know. So I was like wow that's pretty close to me. It's in Florida. One of my friends was going there so I was like okay I'll try to transfer there. So that was my thought originally but honestly I had no no plan no nothing which don't really suggest doing that but it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. I literally had no idea what I wanted to do. Even now, I don't really have an idea what I want to do. I do have some ideas, but specifically, like I don't really know. It's just whatever's out there for me. I'm really hoping. What's your favorite study spots on or around campus? So I don't really study on campus, but if I am there during my breaks or if I come before class, I love going to the honors building. They have a buddy brew there and it's it's kind of like coffee shop vibes, which I really enjoy. That's on the first floor. And even if you go on the second floor, that's open to the public. It looks really nice and comfortable to like work there. What do you do on your free time? So on my free time, I read a lot. I watch a lot of YouTube. I hang out with my family. I work on the weekend. I create 
content. I go out kind of a lot or I explore the area, go to coffee shops, that's fun. Go out to cute dinners with my friends. Those are like basic everything I do in a nutshell. I haven't been on my game recently because I've been busy with school, but getting back into it. Next question is how many days a week do you have class? Because my schedule is so bootleg, like they assign me my registration times like so late. So I never get the classes I originally want. So it's kind of like up in the air whenever it's registration time. And as of recently, I'm basically on campus every day. I'm there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is kind of fine because it, it forces me to stay motivated and stay on top of my schoolwork because I have classes every day. So I need to manage my time better. It's easy to make friends at the classes, question mark. Depends how much you participate and how much you reach out to people like during the classes. And it also really depends on kind of like where you sit that first day of class or first week of class. If the person next to you is talkative or willing to talk or wanting to talk. If you are a business major, you do work on group projects a lot. So you get assigned to a group and you can become friends with people through that group or you pick people in your group. And if they want to be friends, then they could be friends. A lot of the times it's the clubs you join outside of your classes. People are more open to making friends in those situations. Last question, any favorite food spots or Around campus I have a few go-to's first is K Deli which is a Korean convenience store near campus it's like less than 10 minutes away I'm pretty sure it's like six minute drive so good they're closed on Tuesdays though next is Saigon Bay again it's near campus and I love going there if I'm like craving like Asian food it's a Vietnamese place family local business there's another there's I'm gonna just pop it up here there's this place I have only been here one time it wasn't when I went to USF but it's like really near USF Dave's hot chicken which it's pretty good chicken like really thick decent sizes but it is expensive there's lots of boba places i love to go to for like my sweet treat snacks once mogi tea which is near near the standard or like the target and everything great vibes you could study there as well there's naga tea which i really like for their milk teas i feel like mogi is like more so like fruity slushy like that's where they're really good in there's a lot of boba places I'll, I'll be flashing them up because a lot of them are really good i don't know i really just stick to my go-to's because i try not to eat so much when I'm out on in the USF area. Oh, I didn't mention this. I don't live on campus. I live at home and I commute to campus, which is about like 30, 40 minutes away, depending on traffic. Those are all the questions that have been asked. I hope I answered them well enough and gave some information, new information, or just reiterated and explained more of the things maybe I didn't get to on my last video. And if you have any other questions, feel free to comment them down below. I'll answer them. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Comment, go Bulls, if you made it to the end. Ah. <laughs> and if you enjoyed my content, give it a like and thumbs up. I do a lot of college lifestyle content. And yeah, I'll talk to you next time. Peace out. Bye.